This is how you can make an AI chat topic command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. And before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any video on my channel, you can get a super or god tier on YouTube or a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And let's go ahead and get into the video code. All right, so to start, we're going to go over to community and we can go ahead and create topic.js and here we're going to get our slash command builder and we're going to also get our embed builder and then we can go ahead and do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js just like that and we're going to do cons puppeteer equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our puppeteer package just like this then we're going to go ahead and create our command so we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and start off by setting a name which is going to be topic and we can go ahead and set a description here we're going to go ahead and and say generate a topic for discussion based on previous channel messages and we can go ahead and say ai based just like that and we're going to add a comma we can do async execute we can go ahead and get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just defer a reply and within this we're going to go ahead and set informal to true so that this message is hidden from everybody else in the channel and we're going to do async function topic and we can go ahead and get our messages and we can go ahead and open this up this is going to be the function that takes takes the messages from the channel and actually filters it through chat GPT to get some relevant channel topic discussions. So we're going to do Collins browser equals await puppeteer dot launch. And we can go ahead and get headless, which is going to be set to true just like that. Then we're going to do cons page equals await browser dot new page. And we can go ahead and actually go to a website. Just go ahead and go to the website in the description below. This is the same method that I actually used in the chat GPT video. If you want that will be in the description below below as well. Then we can go ahead and get a couple of things. The first is going to be our text box selector variable. So just go ahead and copy this very specific piece of code down. It's going to be getting the HTML value that we need. So just make sure you get this exactly right. Otherwise it won't work. And we're going to go ahead and do await page dot wait for selector just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and get a very important string of text. And I'm actually going to leave this in the description below. So we're going to do var text input equals and we're going to say, give me three topics for discussion based on some recent channel messages. And then we're going to say, feel free to make the last suggestion have nothing to do with the previous message. And then I'm basically going to capitalize all this. Um, so basically what this is, is it's going to be the prompt that tells the AI exactly what to generate based off of the message given. So you can customize this if you would like, but I've left this exact string in the description below because you want it to work exactly the way it works for me, then you're going to want to go ahead and use this. After you make the prompt, make sure you go ahead and put in the messages so that the AI has access to those as well. Another thing that I had kind of thought about doing but didn't really want to do was you could also include the channel name and maybe channel description so that the AI has an idea of what kind of conversations you want within that channel to begin with. But I left that out. Feel free to add that in if you want to. Then we're going to go ahead and do await page dot type and we're going to go ahead and do text box selector and we're going to go ahead and get our text input just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and say await page dot keyboard dot press and we're going to go ahead and press our enter key just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and do await page dot wait for selector and we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things basically we're going to go ahead and get this very specific selector and then we're going to do space and we're going to do p so feel free to pause the video and copy all of this exactly down and then we're going to just go ahead and catch an error and return and do nothing then we're going to go ahead and do value equals await page dot and we can do double money sign and we can do a val and we're going to go ahead and get that exact same selector um, but this time we're going to go ahead and leave the paragraph part out so just go ahead and copy that down from above, but leave the P out. And we're going to do comma after the string, and then we're going to do async elements. And you can actually go in and open that up with an arrow function. And we're just going to go ahead and return elements.map element. And we're going to do another arrow function, and we're going to go ahead and get our element.text content. So basically, it's evaluating the page, it's finding the final bot response, and it's returning the text content within that so that we can access that later. And then we can go ahead and do a wait browser.close. And then finally, all we have to do is value.shift. So we adjust our array properly. And then we just go ahead and return value.join. And we can just go ahead and return this with backslash n, backslash n, backslash n, backslash n. So basically, we're formatting the exact string in which we need to get, and we're also returning that within our function. So now we have the AI response. Let's go ahead and 
get those messages to give to the AI and actually format it within an embed. So we're gonna do var messages equals await interaction dot channel dot messages dot fetch. And we can go ahead and get our limit, which is going to be 10. I feel like 10 is pretty relevant in terms of the current conversation that's going on with the channel. Also, it's not too many messages to actually send into the AI, so it doesn't take too much time. Then we're gonna do var content equals an empty array. And we can do await messages dot for each. And we're gonna go ahead and do async message and we can go ahead and open that up. So in here, we're just gonna go ahead and do content.push and we're just gonna go ahead and get our message.content. And we actually might wanna do this within a string. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna just go ahead and get our message.content just like that. So now we have our array with all of our message content. So this array is going to have 10 values. So 10 different messages. And we're gonna go ahead and reverse that. So we can do await content.reverse. And the reason is, it's actually going to go ahead and save them from the last message in the channel to the 10th last message in the channel. So technically, this content array is going to be out of order. So if we reverse it, then it's going to be accurate in terms of what message was sent first and all the way up to what message was actually sent last. So now we're going to go ahead and do var output equals await topic. And we can do content.join. And we're just going to go ahead and join it with a comma and a space just like that. So basically, we've gone ahead and created a variable using our topic function that actually gets the AI response. And we sent in our content.join, which is actually the array storing all of the messages and we joined it with a comma. So now we can go ahead and make our embed. So we're gonna do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and just format this embed. So we're just gonna go ahead and set a color. I'm gonna go ahead and make it blurple. I'm gonna go ahead and set a title. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get a globe emoji. And in here, we're gonna go ahead and say discussion topic suggestions. Then we can go ahead and set a description, which is just gonna be our output variable. We're gonna go ahead and set a timestamp. And finally, we can go ahead and set a footer, which is going to be text. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a brain emoji, just like that. And we can go ahead and say topics generated by AI using previous channel messages. So that's basically letting the user know that it took the channel messages and actually went ahead and generated these responses using AI. Then we can go ahead and say await interaction.edit reply because we have to edit out the defer and we're gonna go ahead and just get our embeds and we can get our embed and we actually do not have to set it to infernal because we already did that within our defer. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and test this out within my Discord server. And the reason is we need a channel that has actually had some discussion. If I do it in my test server, it's just gonna be a bunch of bot commands. So let's just go ahead and run our topic command. And all we have to do is send it and it's gonna go ahead and think it has to generate the response. So it's gonna go ahead and take maybe 10 seconds, could be a little bit longer depending on the content of the messages it's actually trying to type into the website that we get the AI responses from. But once it's done, we will get our reply here. So just give it a second and it's gonna come in. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, and technically fourth. So you're gonna notice that the three paragraphs right here are actually suggestions for topics based off of the messages sent here which is actually interesting. The AI takes the 10 most recent messages and it compiles them and it gives you some things you could discuss based off of them. Now, it's gonna say on the bottom, remember the third topic suggestion does not directly relate to the previous messages, but is inspired by the mention of the .json file. So that's what is written right here. I did add uh, in the prompt that the third does not have to be related to the messages, just in case they want a topic that has nothing to do with what's already being sent but it did work pretty well. It compiled exactly what we wanted, a topic based off of the messages that were already sent. Now it is important to note that this might break and because it's a text prompt directly to the AI, the AI technically doesn't have to follow it. So there's a chance that it might generate a response that is not formatted like this, but uh, every time I've tested it, it has worked. So the last thing we can do is let's just go into a channel that really doesn't have much context and we can just go ahead and do topic and we're gonna go ahead and send it. Again, we have to wait, you know, 10 to 15 seconds for it to type all of the messages in in the prompt and then wait for the AI to load its response and then send it in the message. So it takes a little bit, but it should make our response in just a second. Now this one took quite a long time to generate and it didn't really generate the uh, format that we wanted, but it did give us three different topics. Um, again, they're pretty generic because there's not much context in here, but it did work just as it should. And you're gonna notice it has some leveling up in the topics. It has animated GIFs, which are all things that have been sent within this channel. And then obviously the last one is completely random because that's what the prompt wanted it to do. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced AI topic command using ChatGPT based off of previous channel messages. 
If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.